This video is going to be going over quick scan recording. Now I know I did quick scan already and that's where you do a live read of what you're reading in a, in a one directional area. I'm going to do quick scan recording and this is where you're going to be able to record those quick scans but you're not going to be able to see the live read as you go. So just to give you an example, I'll just do it here real quick. Um, so you see up here it says scan direction from left to right. That's just for your reference if you were to load this onto the software afterwards. Um, I can go here and change that scan direction if I wanted to. And that's just so that you can know which way the scan is going. Even though on the software it's going to read left to right, you can remind yourself, okay, I know it's going left to right on this on scanner, but in reality, I'm reminding myself that I went top down or whatever direction you went. So I'm going to go left to right again. So I'll go ahead and bring this over here, and I'll put it on the side here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and press the, the record button. When I'm ready to go, I just press my record button. And if you watch, all it's doing is indicating how far I've gone, right? So it's just telling me how far I've gone, and I can't see anything else on here other than that. And I believe if I go back, it's going to tell me that uh, because I changed directions, it won't be saved and I have to start over. So just keep that in mind. You have to keep it all in one direction as you do this. So it's a little bit different than the quick scan detection. So I'm going to press start again. And let me just go down and maybe... Two feet, that's fine. So I went two feet, and what I want to show you now is what it looks like if I mark. So remember, I'm about 2.7 feet down there. I'm going to go a little further. I'm going to do some marks here. Mark, mark, and mark. Now what those marks do is it basically indicates a location that you want to save while you're scanning. So this could be something like, okay, I know that every six inches or so I need to put an anchor or something like that, or you need to drill or check something. As you're scanning every so many feet, you can put a mark down there to see what's at that mark when you pull it up and, uh, and when you look at it, you can say, okay, what's at that mark? Is it gonna be viable? Is it gonna be something that I can work with? So let me go ahead and press my record button. One last time to end the scan. It's gonna load it up. And I'm gonna bring this up onto the table in a second, okay? So now I can preview my last scan or I can just go to the projects menu and look at it. So I'll go ahead and preview the last thing I did. Bring it up here so we can see it a little easier. All right, put this out of the way. All right, so what are we looking at here? So what we have here is basically a quick scan, and I'm now able to navigate through it. So on the top left corner, you have a little guide telling you, okay, this is your left and right arrow or your depth gauge. All this has to do is what the D-pad does for you. So if I'm on left to right, I'm able to now move on my scan left to right, Moving left and right with my with the left and right arrows moves the whole page. And then if you look, if I go the down arrows, move it minutely. Like by not even a whole inch. Okay, so you have the, the page move the page views. Okay, so by using left and right, and then top and down move it minutely if you need to see. Now let me go over here, let me show you those markers. You see how we have these markers here? Mark, mark, and over here, mark. Those ones that I made, it's just for you to get a good vision of what you're looking at as you are, um, uh, as you scan. So I can see, okay, at that mark I made, I'm clear. At that mark I made, I'm clear. It's something that might be convenient for you. Now I'll go ahead and change my other window here to just change the arrows. What I do, these change my depth, my depth uh, arrows. I can use these to make depth uh, adjustments. So if you see, I have my magenta lines, top and and uh, right beneath it, this dashed window. The right arrows are going to increase the depth window I see on the top-down view and decrease it with the left arrow. Okay, so I can see things that different, different uh, a little bit differently. And down here, if you watch the uh, watch this this window go up as I increase it, and that window is going to go down as I decrease it. That's just showing you the window you're looking at, and this depth shows you me where the where the depth window even starts. So I can move that down and see different views. That's all I'll say about that, but that's a good way that you can use this to basically just navigate through your scan. So I like to keep this really small so I can see things a little bit more clearly in the scan. Okay. So now what I'll do is just show you again, you still have your contrast views, just like you did on the, on the, in, in the quick scan, lower contrast I like. For when I'm doing quick scans, you have your parameters. 
to adjust your concrete level if so needed, what we call the dielectric. You can also change your view here from standard to advanced, okay? And I went over in the other video what those meant, so I don't want to repeat myself. And then you have your visualization where you can put your EM sensor on and bring up the EM sensor up here, and right now I'm not really seeing much activity. Okay, I can turn my cross section on and off. So, I'm sorry, my cross section to uh, default view or raw view. I can change my color scheme, right? So that's just the way that you can now save this scan. Now let me show you where I saved this ad. So remember, I recorded it, so this is now saved onto my unit. So I'll go to projects, and here's LMN. That's the active project I know I saved it on. I'll say okay, and there it is, RQ. Q stands for the quick scan with a long number. Maybe I'll edit that and call this. Uh, let me just delete everything. Anyway, I don't have to do this, but I can delete all this and rename it if I wanted to make it something clearer, which I went over in one of the earlier videos. I hope that helps you understand what quick scan recording is and that it gets you somewhere on your job.